greatest race in the world and people say, you ever win the national? You can actually say, yes, we did. in the 2015 Krabby's Grand National. It's a special race, it's special to everybody. This is the second last fence. Many clouds lifts off about a length and a half clear. 600 million people watch this race across the world. But many clouds come towards the final fence under late Nassau, 12 months on from his victory on Pinot de Rey. Yeah, it's very real, you know, we can dream. You know, as long as we don't get carried away and live in the dream world, we can all dream a bit. And many clouds still out in front by two or three legs to say it's the best, you know, best in the world. It's the ultimate, it's the best, and uh, nothing better than the Grand National. It was an extraordinary performance. Hence the reason he's probably favourite this year, you know. I mean, if he did go and do it, you know, for Clouds as well, and for Leighton to be the only jockey ever to go and ride three winners back to back is extraordinary. So we are possibly on the verge of history. on my own, well, not, not literally on my own, but on my own, surrounded by people I didn't know. Uh, and I got him on my binoculars very early on. And after jumping the third, I, th I said to myself, blimey, he's taken to this. And then I, I, I watched him all the way. I started to shake going to the second last. I, I don't normally shake in a race. I'm normally pretty good at watching, but, and I must confess, after the last, I just turned my back. I couldn't believe it. I thought we were going to, I just didn't watch it. Now all the way down to the last fence, don't cock it up, don't cock it up. Like I didn't even look for sure, I, I, I sat up my saddle, I just, just, just popped it. Still nobody came to me. Wow, and then, okay, go for it now. And I threw everything at him from, from the last to the elbow, from the elbow to the line, and thankfully, you know, we, we held on. It's Leighton Espoo, back-to-back Grand Nationals, he wins on many clouds. The first person I walked into was Evan Williams, and he gave me a massive hug and said, you just won the National, and then I burst into tears, and then it became real then, it was just out-of-body experience. It's been the best two years of my life, without a shadow of a doubt, you know. We're just living the dream now, do you know what I mean? Everybody recognises you. Somebody says CJ, I mean they were saying CJ around the paddock when he won the Horse of the Year, and it's mind-boggling, people know you but you don't know them, do you know what I mean? That's what he transformed you, it's just, you, you, you have to pinch yourself really. Well, I just look. I just look after him from morning till night. Really, I just make sure he's got everything. And uh, I don't. I, I don't ride anymore. I, I did, when I was riding, I did ride him now and again. I actually stopped him riding two years ago because he had a couple of nasty falls. He wasn't too pleased about that, but I think deep down he knows I was right. But CJ was actually. He he was a good pilot good in his judge. day, and he was a very good judge of a horse. And he did actually ride this horse as a young horse, and he always adored him. Nathan rides him most of the time now, and Lisa as well, and Stefan the head lad. I get her at seven every morning and um, get him tapped up, and uh, CJ loves the fact that I'm in. He texts me, you know, most days, you know, make sure you're in tomorrow and, and all that type of stuff. He enjoys his exercise here in the mornings. He loves the school, he loves to gallop. He's, 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 just, he's just a real galloping, jumping machine. You know, he's lifted the yard, and it just brought everybody together, which makes him even more special, because it, it takes a special horse to do that with people, bring lots of people together and, you know, all so proud of him, so proud of him. You know, I canter him up, um, you know, on the Jockey Club Estates grounds here. It's a beautiful training centre here and um, it's nice to ride him, ride him here on the gallops. I try and tell Oliver what I, what I know and, and, and what I feel. Um, you know, but I do, I do get on well with the horse. You know, he's um, you know he's like my best friend. You know, he's been a, he's been a, played a huge part in my life. You know, he's um, he's the reason I get up every morning. You know.
Oliver will obviously let me know what we're doing that day and stuff. You know, I, I come in, you know, Monday, Tuesday, um, Wednesday, Leighton comes in and schools him. So we've had a bit of rain this week and we just pop some fences on the grass. You know, that's it then. We just we just keep them nice and fresh and, you know, keep them healthy and warm and fed and get them there in good shape. He's just uncomplicated. He just keeps everything simple. He's, there's yeah. no fuss about him. They're, they're sort of made for each other, really, because Clouds is a big old-fashioned chasing type of horse. And Leighton, with the, the way he rides, with a bit of leg and a bit of rein, you know, he suits that type of horse. He gets on with the job. He's a man of few words. And those few words have taken a while for me to even understand them after 12 years of riding for me. I now do. But you can see it in him as well, that he's got confidence. confidence. He's definitely got the right man on board. He's a gifted, gifted man in the saddle. I mean, he's, um, he's, he's, he's amazing to watch. And, and more amazing to watch on him, because them two just get on like a house on fire. They're... Uh, they're, uh, you know, they're at unity going around there and it's just uh, poetry in motion to watch them two go over an obstacle together. I'm a firm believer if you have happy staff, you'll have happy, happy and relaxed horses. The more relaxed the staff are, the more relaxed the horses are. I want the horses to have their energy on a race course, not getting all tensed up at home. It's like a family. Oliver and T are like my second set of parents. Um, and it's been really, it's been an incredible experience to be here. I've learned so much. I've really enjoyed being here. I'm so proud to be part of this team. When I came back from retirement, Oliver was very positive. And he was a big uh, influence on me deciding to come back and you know, help him help my career. Everybody's been walking around on cloud nine since, since last April here. They really haven't. It's just carried the whole yard around and it, it's been great to watch it. It's amazing how it affects everybody. It's great to be associated with the race, but more so to be associated with, with a horse that's uh, hopefully make history. He's going for the impossible, but we know it is possible because we know he can do it. And the whole build up for the yard, and if it happens again, you know, I don't think I'll be able to get Laurie back into Lambourne. Winning a national is the biggest thing in the world. I mean, I'd rather win a national than three gold cups any day because it's a, it's a people's race. Everybody knows about it. You, it it's my, you know, it's mind-boggling what the race does. Natural excitement building up to age. Any yard would be when you've got a runner in the national. It, it, it's a buzz. Anything can happen in a national. So everybody's buzzing. So it's just exciting. I mean, just to get there with the chance of winning, winning another national is amazing. Amazing. There's butterflies there. Every jockey's going to have some butterflies in their in their stomach, their lives, if they tell you otherwise. But it just keeps you nice and sharp and keep, keep keeps you on the metal. The fact of winning it three years in a row, is, I've got to put that to the back of my mind and concentrate on, 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 on the job in hand. <laughs>